Hello everyone, it's Glenda and you're seeing my sister here. Welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I'm here at my local thrift store and I thought I'd stop in, throw all the crochet items I could find in my cart so my sister can show you what they have to offer and to give you some inspiration on some crochet projects and maybe you'll get some ideas of what you wanna make. So Laurie, you wanna hold up the first blanket? I noticed this is a red, white, and blue. It looks like the granny square stitch going back and forth. It's kind of small, but it gives you ideas of what you might want to make for the 4th of July. You want to go ahead and grab the next one? This next one I thought was pretty because it has greens and pinks and peach. Look at that, and that is a granny square blanket, just using different colors. Go so many rounds, change the colors, and it's a great way to use up some of those variegated and solid colors you have. So this one's very pretty. And these are running about $3.99 a piece, and you can't even buy the yarn for that. $1.99. That's $1.99. Crazy just crazy low prices and these look like brand new yeah this one looks brand new it's a blue and white again a granny square style blanket how much is on that somebody bought the yarn dollar 99 put all that work in it so it's a great way for someone who don't know how to crochet come get yourself a few new crocheted blankets and then the next one i see looks like a granny square style blanket and this has beautiful pastel colors with a white border. Isn't that pretty? What's the price on that one? A dollar ninety-nine. <laughs> the next one is a little yellow baby blanket. Now I'm going to get up close. I'm not sure what that stitch is until I look. So there's an up close view of the stitch pattern. Looks like a little baby blanket. How much is that one? Guess. Dollar <laughs> ninety-nine. <laughs> And now another granny style blanket I see. This one has blues and greens and gray. How much is this one? $5.99 because it's bigger. It's, oh wow, let me step back. Look how big that is for $5.99 and these look brand new. So somebody likes to do the granny stitch. These all are brand new. Yeah, they're nice. I've never seen that many nice oh, blankets. That's crocheted. That's oh, a crocheted. ripple stitch. Oh. It's a little baby blanket. How much is that one? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> $1.99. $1.99. Isn't that one pretty? And if you look close, you're going to see it has a really soft pastel color. And then it has a darker pastel color. So that's an unusual way to use up some of those variegated yarns. Just use different shades. <laughs> My arms are getting tired. <laughs> What's the next one? That looks oh, like... Oh, this one's $2.99. I can't remember what this is called. This, well, it looks like a shell stitch going in the round. Isn't that pretty? These are some of my favorite colors with that blue and mint green. But is this video giving you some ideas of what you could crochet? That's really pretty. I like that. How much was that one? <laughs> That one was $2.99. Oh, $2.99. That was a little fancier. The next one is a single crochet ripple stitch afghan. I'm stuck. And this is done with oranges and browns and yellows. She's looking for the price. $2.99. $2.99. And look how big that one is. I'm going to step back. Isn't that pretty? Uh-oh. What? Has a hole in it. Has a hole in it. Has a hole in it. So this one we noticed there's two holes in it, but you may be able to darn that and fix that spot. This person had a lot of spare yarn. This is what I call a crazy blanket or crazy quilt. They use different colors and they use different style blocks. Scrap afghan. So how much oh, is this one? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I like and, that scrap. Good idea. Yeah, it's a way people can use up all their scrap yarn. So that's pretty. And what did you say? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah, that's not bad. 
So we one. have a few more to go. Oh, I like the colors on this. This one's oh. just a really little this blanket. An, uh, receiving blanket or something. I don't see. A creamy. Yeah, I don't see a tag on that no one. No tag on this one. So that's probably a dollar ninety nine. Let's get up close and show the stitch. This must be. This is for a preemie. We. I. I, I want to show the stitch pattern. This just looks like a shell stitch pattern. So there's the stitch pattern. And we have a couple more in there. The next one is made out of like a real thick, chunky yarn. Soft. It's $3.99. Oh, look at that pattern. Yep, that's really pretty. Just a little baby blanket. And then again, hold that up and I'll show the stitch pattern. And I'll get an up close. There's the stitch pattern. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one is a beautiful lacy baby blanket. What's the price on it that one? It is lacy. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Very lacy. Very delicate. Very lacy. Look at that border. And sometimes I like to buy these afghans just so I can see how the border is made. I'm going to get right up close. Look at that border. Isn't it pretty? It's a little too lacy for me for a baby blanket. It's absolutely gorgeous, but maybe you could use it as a shawl and just wrap it around your shoulders. The last blanket she's holding up, how much is that one? $3.99. $3.99, and this one really caught my eye due to the pattern. Do you wanna hold that up so the pattern is going up and down long ways? Yeah, I think, I'm not sure how it was made, but it was on the hanger. Oh, this was prayerfully made for you by Prayer Shaw Ministry, a Bald oh. Eagle Nittany Presbyterian Church. Yeah, that is Jane of Scraptastic Yarn. That's her ministry up there at the Bald Eagle United Presbyterian Church. She runs, I think that, I'm sure that's her, the Prayer Shawl Ministry. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is just the, like a it's shawl. A prayer, it's a prayer shawl. I will shawl it. She will shawl it. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That was such a beautiful oh, I pattern. Like this. Hey, maybe I could make one of these. <laughs> you will never <laughs> make anything in crochet, but look how beautiful that is. And it's so nice that these organizations make these items and donate them to charity. Because like I said, sometimes this is the only way anybody can get something crocheted is when they can find it as a donation in one of these stores. So now I'm at another thrift store and I just found this adorable little crocheted starched hat. They only have $1.89 on it. And I used to make these years and years ago and I would put papori in this part of the hat and then you would use it as an air freshener, but that's really cute. And then I found this old boy wooden crochet hook. It's pretty long, look how long that is. So then my sister found a doily. What's the price on that doily? $2.99. $2.99. What's the other one you have in your hand? Just a little round. There's no price on this one. Yeah, there's just a little round one. And then I did notice, this is what you have to look for in the thrift stores. I see one crochet hook, but they have a bag of really old vintage knitting needles here. Now, I don't knit, so I don't want the knitting needles, but it's always fun to look for those vintage Susan Bates afghan hooks. Haven't been able to find any yet, but then they have some thread, and then down here's just like a little basket of some old thread. So we did find a Christmas table runner, so here's that pattern, and we found one more afghan. Here's a little ripple stitch baby blanket. You wanna go ahead and open that up? Wow, look how big that is. What's the price tag on that one? $12. $12. So that is the last Afghan I'll be showing today. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today. I hope this video has got you inspired for your next crochet project. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.